Hey guys, it's been a while. Phil here, Doctor of Physical Therapy. Today we're just going to talk about the current state of PT and a little bit about the medical system. You know, we hear a lot about the medical system in the US. Our healthcare spending is too high. We need to fix our medical system. Healthcare should be a human right. These are all things that we hear on a daily basis. It's become such like a big political saying. It's like something that we know needs to change, but nobody knows how or where to begin. And this crazy year of COVID on top of all this just created a perfect storm where people are laid off, losing their health benefits, and people are left more vulnerable than ever. When you strip it all down and really look at it, it all stems from having the wrong incentives in the system. In the US, at least for better or worse, we have a for-profit medical system. Simply put, there is financial incentive to do more medical things. When you go to the doctor, the more things they do to you, the more money they make, aka the more tests, the more prescriptions, the more procedures that they do, the more transactions. Unfortunately, this can lead to overutilization and waste in the system. It's no wonder that we spend more money on healthcare than any other countries in the world. On top of all that, we have insurance companies between the patient and the medical providers. So these guys are also for-profit companies. So they want to watch out for their bottom lines. And quite frankly, they carry the burden of the cost because hospitals and doctors, they charge insurance companies to get reimbursement. And what happens is they end up charging these insurance companies whatever they deem reasonable and try to get as much as possible, which drives costs even higher. Anyways, that's a little background. We're not going to solve the problems with the U.S. healthcare system within this video. So let's dive deeper into physical therapy. You see, when you peel back all the layers, the core of physical therapy is conservative care, aka letting the body heal naturally. We're trying to help people live better lives with less pain while avoiding surgeries and painkillers. I can't help but think that almost goes directly against the for-profit nature of our medical system. Remember we talked about earlier, the more transactions, so the more procedures, the more prescriptions, the more money. When you really think about it, it's kind of crazy because the sicker you are, the more money they can make off of you. Say a patient avoids shoulder surgery by doing physical therapy for six visits. That could potentially be viewed as a loss for an orthopedic surgeon. The surgeon could have performed surgery, which would mean more transactions in the system. So more imaging, more prescriptions, etc. But of course, sometimes surgery is warranted and we see that all the time. People do really, really well and sometimes that's completely warranted. However, there are also gray areas. So these are often called elective surgeries because you're choosing to have surgery, you're volunteering to have surgery because you've had enough. So things like chronic knee pain that you've been dealing with for decades and it hasn't, and you've tried everything and you've tried exercising and it's just not getting better and one day you're just like, that's it, I've had enough. You see in this space, there's usually more wiggle room. Sometimes the patient can manage his or her symptoms with conservative care. So some strengthening, some activity modifications, things get better and you're able to manage. So, and in these cases, surgeries and injections are kind of the last resort. And we see that in physical therapy. Sometimes we have the same presentation and one person does really well with conservative treatment and get back to all the activities. For another person, for whatever reason, doesn't do as well and needs a little bit more. So going for more invasive options like injections or surgeries. It really all depends on a case by case basis. Like how long has the patient been dealing with this problem? How much is it impacting your day to day life? And what are your physical goals and needs? So it's hard to make a general blanket statement saying surgery bad conservative care good or vice versa. Generally speaking though, the consensus is to do conservative treatment before anything invasive. I recently saw this TikTok video of a bill someone got after having COVID and having stayed in the hospital for a couple months. So allegedly the hospital charged the insurance company $2.8 million for all the treatments that this person received over the course of the four months. So unlike more efficient markets where you see an apple, you buy it, this insurance company kind of complicates the whole kind of chain. Basically from the medical provider side, they can bill whatever they want to the insurance company and the insurance company will review it and be like, hmm, okay, we'll pay you this much. Say you bill the insurance company for $100 for this service, the insurance company can review it and be like, okay, we'll only give you 70. It's, so it's basically like, hey, insurance company, we treated Jimmy for COVID. Here's his bill of $2.8 million for his stay in the hospital. So, and the insurance company is like, hmm, well think about it. Here's 400K and Jimmy will have to pay $10,000 out of pocket. And the hospital goes, okay. It really is all kind of bizarre. 
At the same time, here's a disclaimer, this is just a random video on the internet and I'm not really sure how much was the actual out-of-pocket cost for this person, but I'm just using this as an example for what happens behind the scenes. And now that we understand this background, in physical therapy, it's the same thing. You're incentivized to treat more patients and the more patients, the more transactions, the more transactions, the better. So as a provider, you're really incentivized to have patients become dependent on you. But what happens when you bill insurance a lot and the insurance companies goes, hmm, wow, physical therapy service is very expensive. Remember, they are for profit too. They will also try to cut cost. And what do they do? They lower reimbursement rates for PT services. So say you bill for a hundred bucks, instead of getting $75, like 10 years ago, you would maybe only get 30. And ultimately what happens is to keep the lights on, you have to see more patients. And what happens when you do that? The quality of care decreases because you're spending less time with each patient. And more and more clinics end up being kind of these PT mills or patient factories where you're just kind of passing along to an assistant and you're only spending 10 to 15 minutes max with a therapist. And I've personally worked as a student in places where you're seeing literally four patients at the same time. Quite honestly, that was not fun. Patients are not getting the attention that they need or deserve. All the clinicians were running around like their hairs are on fire for the whole day. It was just a stressful environment for everybody. And this is just an unfortunate byproduct of what is happening. The bottom line of this video is to educate. As a patient, you hold the power and knowing more about what's going on can help you make a better informed decision. And if you're feeling like you're not getting attention and care with your PT, maybe the PT only spends 15 minutes with you, you can always go somewhere else. And that's all I got for you today. As always, if you liked it, like it. And there's more to come.